Namaste, fam. Wolfgore here. <sighs> I can't believe it. It's been a year. It's been a year already since I stopped drinking and smoking weed and doing any other form of drugs. I even quit nicotine and alcohol for a while. Or, I'm sorry, nicotine and caffeine for a while. But uh, nicotine and caffeine were kind of a gray area, so... I'm actually kind of nervous to drink this beer, which sounds weird because I've had literally like 10,000 beers in my life, but it has been a year. This is the longest by far that I've gone without drinking since I started drinking when I was 18. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like nervous. I've been thinking about this day for a year and it has been a long year, a good year, but a long year. We recently hit a thousand subscribers. Hey, what's up, Crows? How are you, brother? And, uh, yeah, it has been a good year. And I am ready to celebrate with a drink. So if you have them at home, if you are of drinking age, then please join me. I will be enjoying a Lupulin River. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Cam Deuces, it's been a year. It's your boy, Acrid. What's up, Acrid? Dude, I'm so glad you're here. I was so glad when I got your comment on that video yesterday. I've been uh, hoping you would uh, return to the channel. Oh, my gosh. It is not. Oh, I <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous to drink this beer, but here we go. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. it's still good. It's still good. Oh my gosh. It's good to be back, beer. It's good to be back. I missed you. Dude, I didn't know you were back. I was down because I was waiting for you when you were coming back. Yeah, um, it's been a little confusing for some people because I switched over to Twitch. Um, we're streaming pretty much... Most of the time on the PC now, we're rarely streaming on the PS4. And uh, YouTube just won't let me stream uh, from my PC to YouTube. It's just super laggy. No matter what I do with the settings, it just doesn't work. So I'm streaming on Twitch now. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't know that I'm back. But I am trying. Trying to get the message out there. Hello, I see you're drinking again, LOL. Hi, Maria. Yes, I am. A beard art. How are you, my dear? And yeah. I'm drinking again. Mm. That is a good beer. That is a really good beer. I was a little nervous that alcohol was going to taste like garbage after a year of being away from it, but it's actually still delicious. What am I streaming today? Uh, just this. Just this. I've had kind of a long week so far. I was having some... Uh, problems with my knee so I hadn't been streaming at all this week because I was just going home and passing out from the pain basically uh, but we'll probably stream some Dark Souls Remastered tomorrow then Friday night we'll stream Bloodborne on YouTube and uh, Saturday I think I might have plans Saturday so we'll see what happens oh excuse me I'm gonna have beer burps I'm doing okay what beer I am drinking a Lupulin River by Knee Deep Brewing Co., which is a local brewery. Just a stone's throw from here, and they make really good beer. I wonder if I'll, I'll get buzzed off this. I mean, it's a big beer. I haven't been buzzed in a year. This is going to be fun. I don't like beer. I prefer Coke Zero, and Coke Zero in high school is pretty shit. Well, you shouldn't like beer yet. You're too young. But once you are of age, it might be different. So how was everybody's day? Anything interesting happen? Any fun stories you'd like to share? Oh, that's nice. A vape and a beer.
five, technically. Five out of nine because my birthday is one month. Oh. Nice. When do you turn 21? Also, when's your birthday date? If I can have a stream on your birthday, I'll wear the birthday hat for you. I haven't dusted off the old birthday hats for a while. Actually, I'm not sure if I still have them. I can always get more. For my birthday, I was thinking about buying some hookers and snorting a line. No, you're too young for that. You're too young for that. That's your 21st birthday. <laughs> be funny if got drunk from one drink I already I don't want to say I feel it already I feel cold probably just from the beer but I feel it like in my extremities <laughs> I don't think I'll get drunk but this is a pretty big beer and it's 8% so I probably will get buzzed which I'm okay with <sighs> Been a long time since I got buzzed. And I haven't eaten since lunch, which was like six and a half hours ago, so pretty empty stomach. I was thinking about a. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about that new zombie game that just came out. I think it's called Days Past. Uh, excuse me. My roommate was just showing me some footage of it. And it looks pretty sweet. It's like a single player zombie game. I feel like it could be fun to live stream that. But I don't know. It's 60 bucks, so I'm not. I'm a little hesitant to jump in for that. LOL, I started watching Black Mirror. Ooh, nice. I love Black Mirror. I've seen all the episodes. Have you seen White Christmas yet? I think that was my favorite. White Christmas and Metalhead are my two favorites. My dog ate my lunch, Crows. I'm so sorry. You poor man. What are you going to do? Boop him on the snoot, but, you know, lovingly. Not aggressively. Black Mirror crazy, too spooky. I finished it, the ending worth it. Yeah. I love Black Mirror. It's like the new Twilight Zone. Bender Snatch was really good, too. Choosing the storyline. That was fun. I want some to look at me the way Wolfcore looks at the camera. It'll happen, boo. It'll happen. <laughs> yeah, watch White Christmas today. Oh, that's like the best one. What an absolute mindfuck. Oh my gosh, I loved White Christmas. Loved White Christmas. So good. <laughs> I even got my dad to watch Metalhead. Every once in a while, he'll just go on a rant. We'll just be at work, and he'll be like, you know, if I was in the universe of Metalhead, I would make it, like, my hobby of just breaking those robots all day, every day. I would do nothing but fuck up robots. And I was like, yeah, I got my dad in a black mirror. White, beer, white bear was FD. Fucked. Yeah, it was. No, Shut Up and Drive was fucked in Black Museum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are good ones. If I'm thinking of the right ones. I don't remember Shut Up and Drive, um, but I think I remember the museum one. Crows? You've never heard of Black Mirror? Yeah, it's a Netflix show. Um, it's like a must-watch if you're into, like, shorts with really good story. Um, absolutely worth the watch. It's like the new Twilight Zone. Each episode is just kind of its own little story. It's always some sort of a, a mind fuck, and it, it 
sort of ties in with like the scary potential of the technologies that we're developing like right now in the real world. So it's it's got layers to it. It's really, really good. There's another show shorter and lots of different art styles called Love Death Robots. Watch it, dude. I was literally just about to bring up Love Death Robots. It's so good. I fucking loved Love Death Robots. I watched the whole thing in like one day. I want like f half of those series to become full shows on their own. Like that one where they're like fighting the aliens against each other in the pits. Oh, it was so good. The animation was fucking incredible. And, oh, I just want to watch a whole series about that. Or at least a full movie. I just wish it was longer. I'm on season three, I think. Nice. You're making progress. Zombie! What's up, zombie? Thank you for being here, my friend. Fuck, I'm late. Here's a fun fact. In 1985, a man drowned at a pool party, which was attended by 100 lifeguards. The party was a celebration of the fact that the first... Excuse me, beer burps. The first summer had passed without a drowning at the New Orleans Municipal Pool. Dude, that's incredible. How does that happen? Were they all drunk? I've seen Love Death Robots. Oh, if you liked Love Death Robots, Crows, you should definitely check out Black Mirror. Definitely check out Black Mirror. Love Death Robots is basically shorter Black Mirror. Yeah. I mean, it's it's different. It's very much its own niche, but in a really, really good way. Did somebody say Love Death Robots? Yeah, dude. Fucking love me some Love Death Robots. I'm probably going to rewatch that whole series tonight because we're talking about it and I need some more in my life. I thought it was like a full show from the first episode. I've heard that different people got different first episodes. Like, my first episode was the one where the the guy wakes up in space and that hot blonde chick is there and then they, like, fuck <laughs> a lot. And then, uh, then he finds out, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Love, Death, Robots yet, hit the mute button. And then he finds out that she's, like, this gross spider alien, but he's, like, still into it, I guess. Yeah, that was my first episode, but I don't think it was everybody's first episode. So I kind of like that they randomize it for people. The craziest episode was the stranger that fucked with my m mind. The stranger that fucked with my mind. Was that the name of the episode? I'd have to assume so. Yes. Why did humans think it was a good idea to give cats thumbs? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Cats are malicious, and they're smart, and they don't like humans that much. <laughs> if you want to watch a good show, you should check out Cowboy Bebop. You know, I've never actually watched Cowboy Bebop, and I'm a huge anime fan. Um, it's been on my list for, like, years. Just for some reason, I've never got around to it. But I will check that out soon. I just started a show called, um, uh, what is it, Black Clover on Hulu. I try to just watch one anime at a time. But they fucking Hulued me again, which is a verb now, where they, they have dubbed episodes, and you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to watch the dubs, because I'm American, and I don't feel like reading subtitles. So I watched the first season of Black Clover, dubbed, and then all of a sudden it starts playing in Japanese and I'm like, what's this? Fucking the rest, the seasons two and three are only in Japanese. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, I wouldn't have minded starting the show in Japanese, but I don't want to switch from dubbed to Japanese. So that pissed me off. So hopefully there's a dub online that I can get. But yeah, Cowboy Bebop, I need to check that out. I feel bad for the guy in the episode with the chick who... Decided to do porn. Yeah, that was a good one, too. But, uh, yeah, poor guy. Awkward. <laughs> the one where the dude sees the girl through the window and he chases her. Yeah. Oh, that one was a mindfuck as well. It's just like an infinite loop of murder, getting caught, and then murdering. So clever. 
cool art style too. That one threw me for a loop. I believe you. Me too. Black Clover is amazing. You should check out Tokyo Ghoul sometime. I have watched Tokyo Ghoul. I'm a fan. Other than the fact that season four is actually ass compared to the manga. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I watched Tokyo Ghoul a couple years ago. I was a fan. I haven't kept up with the show since. I know some new Tokyo Ghoul came out recently. But, uh... Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I forced him to watch it, LOL. So fucked. <laughs> uh, God, this beer is so good. Gets better with each sip. I'm almost done with Attack on Titan. Ooh, Attack on Titan is incredible. Can't wait for the new season. Season 3 and 4, final two seasons came out. Oh, two more seasons. That's a bummer that season 4 sucks, but I'll probably still watch it. I'll probably start from the beginning because I don't really remember the storyline very well. It's actually tough. Hmm. Attack on Titan is really good too. Yeah, Attack on Titan's amazing. I have an Attack on Titan poster right over there. Right next to my bed. Half my posters are gaming and half of them are anime. What a weeb. Why do you guys like me? I'm just a weeb. <laughs> we are the prey. No! We are the hunters. Yeah. You tell them. I only saw season one of Attack on Titan. If so, you should keep watching. It's super good. Top five animes easily. I tried playing Dark Souls 3 yesterday after playing Sekiro, and I nearly cried so slow. Bro, I know it is impossible to play any other game than Sekiro after playing Sekiro, because the combat is so much faster and so fluid. It is brutal. I feel your pain. Try playing Dark Souls 1 after playing Sekiro. I'm struggling with that right now, because I need to finish uh, my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. And bruh, it's rough. It's rough. Also, I believe a website called Crunchyroll has most animes in dub. Only issue is ads get annoying. Oh. Can you pay to remove ads? I am familiar with Crunchyroll. And I could afford another subscription at this point in my life, so. Yeah. Or maybe I'll, uh, Captain Jacket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's better than watching Fort Trash. What is Fort Trash? I'm waiting for Sekiro. Oh, Sekiro is amazing, dude. It's a really, really good game. Like, I'm not even kidding you. It is so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have the same replayability as, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Like, it does have replayability, but the character progression is very different than in Dark Souls. So, that, that would be, like, my only complaint. I'd say I, starting a new character and playing through the game is more fun on your first playthrough than any other Soulsborne game, but it's less fun in the new game pluses. So, it's... It's absolutely worth the money, though. If you can get 60 bucks, pick up Sekiro. It's great. Shit, I think I'm already getting buzzed. <laughs> oh, shit. Wolfie's got a buzz. I don't know what I should play. Play Sekiro. Sekiro's amazing. Oh, my God. My new game... New Games plus 6 run as Blood Level 4 was actually torture due to how much Sekiro I played beforehand. Oh, I believe you. You're an animal zombie. I don't know how you do that. Like, I thought I was an animal with 100 plus Bloodborne playthroughs, but you are like... You make me look like a puss. I had started a whole new character and almost died to Gundyr. <laughs> you 
can't die to gun, dear. <sighs> but you almost died. It's okay to almost die. If you actually die, you got a problem. I was referring to you saying, why do you guys watch me? And I said, better than watching Fortnite streamers who think they're amazing. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Yeah, Fortnite is garbage. Can't even lie. Fortnite's garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gro Gro Gundir. <laughs> so, uh, does this mean that Drunk Souls is a potential thing? Absolutely. Um, the old Drunk Bloodborne streams are coming back, and I am totally open to expanding that to the whole Soulsborne Sekiro genre. We'll probably start with um, Drunk Bloodborne because it was an old tradition on the channel. But, uh, you know, we've done a lot of Bloodborne, so we'll probably try some Sekiro and some Dark Souls 3. I really like the, the PvP setup that they have in Dark Souls 3. So it would be nice to jump back into Dark Souls 3 and we can do PvP live streams where I just fight you guys. We used to do that back in the day. Me and Mecha getting drunk on hurricanes and then battling you guys in my little closet. <laughs> that was rad. Uh, the first boss nearly killed me, and it was awful. I used to be able to kill any boss on the first try, but now, now I've gone soft. Oh, you poor thing. It's just, just a matter of uh, getting back into it, my friend. Just a matter of... Just jumping back into the fire. You'll get it back. You'll get it back. It's like riding a bike, Dark Souls games. You'll get it back. I believe in you. <laughs> Gundir was so hard in New Game Plus 3. He wouldn't stop roundhouse kicking me. Oh, I love Gundir's roundhouse kick. It's so savage. Like, I think Gundir... Um, the second time you fight Gundir, when it, once you're in like the shadow zone or whatever the fuck it's called, is one of the coolest telegraphed boss fights that they've ever made in a Soulsborne game. Like the way that he actually does like fucking like karate moves, like roundhouse kicks is so cool. It's so cool. I ex I absolutely love that fight. Zombie. Yes. I love drunk bloodborne. Fuck. Yeah, dude. It has been a long time since I did a Drunk Bloodborne live stream. But talk about good times, man. I don't remember any of them, but I love to go back and watch those live streams. I'm like, hey, I don't remember that, but this is fucking hilarious. Look at this idiot. <laughs> he can't play because he's drunk. <laughs> Bleed builds are the only builds in Dark Souls 3 that don't get harder in New Game Plus. Interesting. I've never done a bleed build in Dark Souls 3. I actually always meant to. What's the best uh, bleed weapons? Is it just weapon buffing your favorite weapon? Or are there specific bleed weapons that you use with the bleed built in? Like, I know there's a scythe weapon that has... Uh, oh, zombie. Thank you for the cheers, my friend. Take these. I've no need for them. It's all I got right now, though. Dude, I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. But yeah, I'd be open to a bleed build. It might be really fun to start a... Once I finish up Dark Souls 1 Remastered, which should be soon. We'll probably finish it in the next week or two. There's not that much left, I don't think. Uh, there is the DLC. Maybe three weeks. Uh, maybe we'll start a new Dark Souls 3 character and we'll do a bleed build. And once I get my character kind of laid out, we can do drinking live streams and PvP. I know Zovio will love that. Zovio has been asking me to do a PvP Dark Souls 3 live stream for like two years. I keep telling him I'm going to do it, so I probably should. I can give Wolf PTSD in a few words. Sense Fortress. Titan. <laughs> I forgot.
forgot about that. Dude, how long? How long was I fighting those fucking Titanite demons for? Like 45 minutes trying to kill those fucking Titanite demons? That was brutal. That was brutal. But we did it, goddammit. We did it. I killed those motherfuckers and I took their Titanite. Straight from their dicks. Chopped off their dicks and that's what I handed the blacksmith. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Andre, I could have chopped off any part of that demon, but I brought you a demon dick. Turn this into Titanite. <laughs> demon Titanite. <laughs> How to give me PTSD? Bring up Aldrich or Ludwig or Mika Trash. <laughs> Aldrich, yes. Ludwig, yes. Mika Trash, just cheese the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Though he is PTSD worthy. That phase two is such bullshit. Warden Twins Blades are really good, but I love infusing a poison weapon with bleed to proc both poison and bleed. Ooh. I love that idea. Um, what's your go-to poison bleed weapon? If you had to pick one. Or bleed weapon with poison. I didn't even know you could infuse... A weapon that already had a status effect with another status effect. That goes to show how much I don't know about Dark Souls. I thought it wouldn't let you. Around 40 minutes. Yeah, that sounds right. Andre is Owl. Change my mind. No, I can't. You're absolutely right. Andre is Owl. Confirmed. Confirmed. Lawrence, ugh, Lawrence, the king of PTSD. Fuck Lawrence, dude. Fuck Lawrence. I hate that fight so much. I can't, I can't, I can't get good at it. I, I've gotten good at every other fight in Bloodborne. Every single one I've gotten good at, except Lawrence. Like, don't get me wrong, I can kill Lawrence. But fuck that fight. And by the way, can we just say how nice my mustache is coming back in? Feels great to have a handlebar again. Oh, these beer burps are gross. The legs on the bus go step by step, step by step. <laughs> by the way, zombie, that number one badge looks real good next to your name. I like it. You can take the Warden Twin Blades and infuse them with either poison to add poison or bleed to add extra bleed. Ooh. And you get the Warden Twin Blades from the Cathedral area, if I'm not mistaken. Do you have to farm them or do they drop? Aldrich is a douche. Aldrich is a douche. He would four chain spam attack me. Aldrich is a douche. He's absolutely a douche. Those two weapons? My god. He's such an asshole. He's so aggressive. And he covers his sides super well. Kind of like Lawrence. But not as bad. Oh my god. On my Blood Level 4 New Game Plus 6, I wasn't even using the torch this time. And the bastard screwed me over so many times. It was like Blood Level 4 torch times 10. Dude. <laughs> Oh, the struggle is so real. And thank you. I like the badge too. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Hey, Jack! It's Jack. Idiot plays 2282. Oh my god. I have finally returned after starving myself of streams because everybody is playing Sekiro. And now that I finally have it, I can come back to Twitch. My friend, a beard heart for you. It has been too long. Uh, for the newer guys, uh, Idiot Plays, amazing name, by the way, uh, also known as Jack to me. We go way back. He's been a subscriber on YouTube for a long, long time. Uh, Jack, Crows, and Zombie, and I believe you know Maria. And Acrid was actually here earlier. You probably remember Acrid. Dude, it's awesome to see you. It's been too long. Thank you for coming over to Twitch. I appreciate it. You have to farm. Sometimes it's fast or takes forever. 
Another luck build I like is with the Corvian Great Scythe with a hollow infusion. Ooh. I do like scythes. I mean, you can't go wrong with the aesthetic nature of a scythe. Maybe we'll go for the Corvian Great Scythe and the Warden Twin Blades. And I'll just kind of pick and choose based on the situation. It's good to have a few items in your repertoire. I've been here for like a year now. Oh, good. Good. Well, I appreciate you. And I'm glad you're... Uh, well, I'm glad to be talking with you. You know, face to face. I got the Warden Twin Blades on accident. I feel like I get them like every playthrough. Like they just end up in my inventory. So I imagine they're not... Hopefully I'll get lucky and I'll just kind of get them on the character that I want them. But we'll see. Corvian Great Scythe is like the life hunt. It has good bleed, but it also slowly beads, bleeds you on hits. Right. So you want to, like, what, stack bleed resistance? Is there, like, a good set of armor that goes with the Corvian Great Scythe? Or consumables that you use for boss fights or something? How bad is the, the self-bleed stack? Is it something you have to, like, actively counter? Or is it just kind of there, like, no big deal? If you are hollow and you have a hollow infused weapon in your hand, it adds extra luck points. Oh, cool. So that means we can get free levels to get hollow and then enjoy both the benefits. That's two birds with one stone right there. Shit, boys, I'm getting buzzed. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm I'm getting buzzed. <laughs> this is great. <clears throat> Thank you all for being here and chatting with me. I was a little nervous about just doing a live stream where I was just talking, but I appreciate you, Boo, for being here. All the Boos for being here. You guys are awesome. Oh, it's not that bad at all. If you have a decent bleed resistance, you'll be fine. Okay, okay. I'm excited for this build. This is going to be awesome. Actually, I'm really looking forward to jumping into Dark Souls 3. Hell yeah, this is exciting. Well, the self-bleed isn't bad unless you are against the Deacons of the Dicks. Oh, yeah, I could see that being a problem. Well, that's when we bust out the Warden Twin Blades. That's where we get the weapon anyway, so good chance to uh, good chance to dust it off. It's been too long since I've played Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Oh, you got to jump back in, man. Those games are timeless. They're timeless. They're so good. It's a good idea to have a hollow Cestus in your left hand. Oh, yeah, because you'll get, what, five bonus luck for that? And it weighs like nothing, so you're basically just getting free five bonus luck. Eat something, it helps? Yeah. Well, I'm enjoying the buzz, I'm not going to lie. I'll eat something eventually. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised that I'm buzzed, though. This beer is 8%, and it's quite large. How many ounces is this bitch? One pint, six fluid ounces. I don't know how many ounces are in a pint. Drink water. Water is best thing for drinks. Yes, I have my water right here. Delicious. First beer in a year, and it's an eight. Jesus Christ, Wolf. <laughs> well, to be fair, I prior to this year of not drinking, I was a very, very experienced drinker. Like, I hosted parties 
at my apartment from ages like, I don't know, 22 to like 26. Yeah, I had like a party apartment for like four years straight and people were over there at least once a week drinking. So I drink a lot. Like I have a in, like a regulation beer pong table with like a hundred signatures on it. I've drank a lot. But I am surprised that I am this buzzed off of two-thirds of one beer. I mean, granted, this counts as like three beers, but you know what I mean. What are your favorite places to eat at? Ooh. I mean, first thing that jumped to mind was Taco Bell. I always give myself a little treat every Friday night, and I go to Taco Bell and uh, get a nice... One of their box meals, it's like five bucks and you get like four different food items and a soda. Ha oh, ha so good. But let me think of something less white trash. Um, pardon me. There's also this place in my town. I'm pretty sure there's only two taco trees in the world, but they are amazing and they make the best bean and cheese burritos. And I love Taco Tree. And I would go there like three times a week if I wasn't worried about getting fat. And other than that, I actually made a quiche last night. I made two quiches last night for the first time. Because I was like, it's been too long. When I used to smoke a lot of weed, I would uh, cook a lot. I would get high and just kind of go into the kitchen and experiment. But uh, this past year, I've been totally sober from everything. So... I wasn't really cooking much, but yesterday I was like, knowing that my year was coming up, I was like, you know, I really haven't been cooking this past year, shame on me. So I actually made some quiches with Anaheim chilies and bacon and eggs and half and half and like put them in pie crusts and everything and they're delicious and amazing and I'm proud of myself for that. Little, slightly off topic, topic but you know, it's all good. Hey, Zombie Nucket, you subscribe. Tier 1. Thank you, sir. Feel free to spam emojis. <laughs> there you go. That's a good lad. That's a good lad. Thank you for subscribing, sir. I appreciate it. Those $2.50 I just made are going towards buying my mom a house, which I will buy her, and I appreciate that, sir. Uh, straight up didn't drink till I was 22 and I'm 25 now. Hell yeah. 25 is a good age. It's all downhill from here. Enjoy it while you're 25. <laughs> uh, I didn't drink until I was 18. I actually hated all drugs with a vehement passion until I was 18. And then I tried drinking and I was like, oh my God, this is really fun. And the rest is all history. The hollow great scythe is good for normal damage, while the poison twin blades are good to proc status effects. So if a boss is resistant to bleed or poison, use the scythe. Madir is cancer on luck builds. Ooh. Maybe I'll do a little co-op help for Madir. Although I've never actually... Madir is like... I think it might be the only Dark Souls boss that I've never done on my own, so maybe I'll figure it out on my own. But uh, that is good to know that he does not care about luck builds. Nice. Oh, food. There is an amazing pizza place down near my old home in Kovini, Kovina. It's so fucking good. Oh, you can't beat good pizza. You can't beat good pizza. Uh, me and my roommates, we have a girls' day every Sunday. And we almost always get a, two pizzas from Papa Murphy's. And... uh. We're watching Game of Thrones right now, but we, we pretty much spend the whole day together. It's great. So we'll we'll get up. We'll usually cook breakfast and eat together. Then we go out and do our food shopping for the week. And, uh, oh, zombie, thank you for the cheers. Oh, 245 bits. Thank you for the cheers, my man. Wow. Appreciate it, boo. Um... <sighs> Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll go shopping together, me and my roommates on girls day and then every Sunday, and then we come back, we put our food away. Then we work out really fucking hard every Sunday, which is great to have people to work out with. And then we'll play video games together and then we'll 
make pizzas, and right now we're watching Game of Thrones as it comes out, but usually one of us will just pick a movie, and we take it in turns, and it's great. I love pizza. I love my roommates. Um... Uh, also, BRB. Welcome back, zombie. Man, I need Twitch Prime just so I can subscribe. I've been here long enough. Do it. Do it, Jack. I need the subscriptions. Once I get 15, I get more, emote, more emotes unlock. And I had a lot of fun making the emotes. So please do subscribe. I would appreciate it. Where's your mom living now? She is, uh, she's in a one bedroom, one bath apartment, uh, in Auburn, uh, in my hometown. And, um, she is going to be, she's actually getting a roommate. So she's moving into another apartment like next month. And, uh, yeah, she's she, sorry about these burps. I can't stop. Uh, she's doing all good, you know, with her living situation. But surprising her with a house would just be, like, literally a dream come true. Like, I can't think of a bigger, better goal than surprising her with a house. And it's it's worth it. Like, fuck the money. Like, I don't, I don't need the money from all this online stuff. I mean, it'd be nice to have it for myself. But buying her a house would just be the coolest fucking thing that I could be proud of for the rest of my life. Bro, Madeer, GG, too easy, no. Well, I, the thing is, it's not that I can't beat Madeer on my own. It's just that I've never had a chance. Whenever I do a Dark Souls 3 playthrough, I always, like, tell myself that I'm going to do the whole thing on my own. I'm going to beat all the bosses. And I, you know, I beat all the bosses up till the DLC. But everybody wants to co-op, right? Just like a Bloodborne livestream. And by the time you get to the DLC, the hype is so real that homies are just jumping in left and right like oh i want to help with madeir i want to help with madeir because it's such an iconic fight and um yeah i've just never actually had the chance to fight madeir on my own because the one solo dark souls 3 playthrough i did when the game came out the dlc wasn't out yet and uh yeah he seems hard though but i'm sure once you figure his patterns out he's not that bad more that's all i got for now zombie i appreciate it I appreciate those bits. I really do. He's not hard, just tedious. I made a character specifically to kill him. Uh, Blessed Lothar Greatsword is glorious. Interesting. Why is the Blessed Lothar Greatsword good for fighting Madir? Does it do a specific damage type that he's weak to? Tip, don't use Walnir's sword. Just don't. Okay, I'll remember that. Or maybe I won't. I have been drinking. Never use that unless for a boss fight. Interesting. Okay, that would be nice. I agree, Maria. I agree. Also, Wolf, you should have played Eggman in the new Sonic movie. Should I? Should I? I heard that movie was trash, but that'd be cool to be in a movie. Eggman has a mustache, right? So I feel like I could nail the part. Who ended up playing Eggman? I would be the guy to invade instead of being summoned. <laughs> Invading people is fun. I wouldn't blame you for that. But we will absolutely do a bunch of PvP once we get back into Dark Souls 3. I'm looking forward to that. Ew, no. <laughs> Sonic does look pretty bad. Yeah. All I've seen is memes about it, and I'm like, Ugh. you just ruined Sonic. Also, when I look at your mustache, all I can think of is Eggman. <laughs> yeah, that's no wax. That's just a thousand gentle strokes a day. That's how you achieve the truest of handlebars, boys. In case you want to have the wolf gore look, it's a thousand gentle strokes a day. Just 
just curl it up, just curl it up, just keep doing that and eventually it turns into this. But uh, I can't exactly remember who was playing Robotnik. Oh. I saw a picture of him this morning in a meme, and it looked like Jim Carrey. But Jim Carrey hasn't acted in a movie in a long time, and I'm like, why would Jim Carrey be Eggman in fucking Sonic? Because that movie looks trash, and yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that today. The Lothric Greatsword comes built in with lightning damage. The lightning doesn't have scaling, but the Blessed Infusion gives it scaling to both its physical damage and lightning damage. Ooh. Oh, I see. That sounds like my Dark Souls 2 character. He had a Zweihander that was infused with lightning, and uh, it was pretty sweet. Let me look it up. Okay. They played Gangster's Paradise in the Sonic trailer, and it is... It is Jim Carrey. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, I feel like Jim Carrey hasn't acted in anything since... I don't even know the last thing he acted in. Maybe he's been doing stuff under the radar. But that just seems like such a weird movie for Jim Carrey to get back into the acting scene with. You ever get a pimple in your ear? Bro, ear pimples are the worst. They're so fucking sensitive. Like, and they're impossible to pop because it's in your goddamn ear. And, like, how are you supposed to get two fingers in your ear to pop a pimple? And what if it's in your ear canal? You're shit out of luck. You're SOL, my friend. I had an ear pimple in my ear canal, like, a month ago. And I couldn't pop that shit. And I was just like, well, let's just let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> oh, laughing at my own jokes. Hella cool, that wolf gore. It's so bad. The last thing I recall from Jim Carrey was one of the best films ever made. The Grinch, bro. The Grinch is a classic. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it every Christmas. Like, you have to. You have to, or else you're not an American. I'm hungry. What should I eat? Pizza. Hey, Jack said pizza too. Only eat pizza. Nothing else. Only the za. That or a salad to be healthy, but I'm not going to be that asshole. So, pizza. <clears throat> Ugh, sorry, these beer burps are gnarly. I wish I could. Why can't you eat pizza? What kind of demonic force is keeping you from eating the delicious za? What's the similarity between a fridge and a baby? They'll both be cold when I put my... <laughs> When I put my meat in it, bringing back the jokes from the drunk times. God damn it. You brutal bastard. How could you? That's gnarly. That is absolutely gnarly. That small belch, LOL. I'm trying to keep him on the DL. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be gross. Ugh. But the carbonation is so real. The absence of the item known as cash. Ah! I've been there, my friend. I've been there. Hell, shit, I'm still there now. My entire tax return is going towards paying off the IRS from former taxes. America. <laughs> it's so fun to be in America. <laughs> Spend all your fucking money on taxes. Land of the free, am I right? Jeebus! Jeebus! How the fuck are you, my friend? 
Thank you for coming by. Hey, Wolf, how's it going? Never noticed you have colored eyes. I do have colored eyes. They are green and brown. Not a mixture of the two. There's actually a ring of brown on the outside, and it's green on the inside. So, yeah. Those are my eyes. Here. Hello. Yeah, nice, nice close-up shot. How are you, Jeebus? How's your day, my friend? What's yellow and can't swim? <laughs> God damn it. A school bus full of children. You sick bastard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. That is fucking dark. I've never heard that before. <laughs> What's yellow and can't swim? A school bus full of children. You saucy bitch. Mm. How many babies does it take to paint a building? It depends on how hard you throw them. That one I have heard before, but it is a goddamn classic, and I will defend it with my dying breath. Cool eyes. Let me have them, LOL. No, <laughs> they're yours, pluck. They are yours, my friend. Daddy's got to pee. I'll be right back. I'm back. <sighs> Being buzzed is weird after a year. I am not used to this sensation. Let me tell you what. <sighs> I'm good, though. Congrats on not drinking for a year. I don't know if I'll be able to pull something like that. It was It was a good year. I mean, it was kind of boring not drinking or smoking or doing anything like that. But I got to say, it was a good time to just kind of reflect on myself, make sure that I was doing okay in life, catch up in the areas that I wasn't, and it turned out to be exactly what I hoped that it would be. You know, I've I've caught up on my finances. I'm doing great at work. The channel is in a great place. We passed a thousand subscribers and gained like 200 in a month. Fucking things are great. It's good to take some time from yourself away from the vices. And just kind of focus on the things you need to focus on. And I mean, it doesn't even have to be a year. It's just good to, good to take some time to focus on yourself and get away from your vices. You know what I'm saying? As I take a swig of beer. <laughs> but I've earned it. I've earned it. So, the show known as Lucifer is getting a fourth season on the 8th. I can't wait. My roommate, 
my last roommate in my old apartment was a big fan of the Lucifer show, and I watched some of the episodes with him, and it looked great. I loved the theme of the show, but I've never watched it start to finish. I might put that on the list of things to watch, because it did seem really good. I really like the concept of sort of humanizing the, the devil. It's just a fun idea. A man goes to the library and asks for a book on how to commit suicide. The librarian says, fuck off. You won't bring it back. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I've never heard that one either. <laughs> fuck off. You won't bring it back. <laughs> That's good. 1,000 subscribers? You mean 1 million subscribers? Dude. We're... We're point zero one two percent of the way to one million subscribers, man. The only reason I don't want a million subscribers is because this would be impossible with a million subscribers because there would be way too many people here, and I couldn't hang out with my friends because there'd just be a bunch of people spamming the chat. But I mean, we'd always have like private chats on the Discord, and you know. Like, I know you guys. So, I don't know. We might get there eventually. That'd be tight. I just, my biggest fear about the channel getting, like, really big is just losing touch with, you know, the real friends that I've made online. You guys, specifically. The guys who are here to just chill with me while I drink my first beer. And uh, I, would, I would hate to lose touch with you guys. But as long as y'all promise me that... You will not lose touch with me. I promise that I will not lose touch with you as the channel grows. Awesome, Wolf. I'm happy, happy for you. But yeah, I understand. Swig away, my friend. Swig away. I appreciate that, Jeebus. I appreciate that. And I will swig away, my friend. And it is nice, too. I gotta say. I gotta say. Buzzes are nice. <laughs> I feel really pleasant right now. This is very pleasant. Outside of the outstanding company, just getting buzzed is very pleasant. True that, Wolf. That is very true. I try to be accurate with my statements. Appreciate you. The burn I got on my hand is still there. And I'm wondering if it's going to scar. Well, if you're lucky. And then when girls ask, hey, how'd you get that scar? You could be like, I'm a blacksmith, which is just awesome. I've said this to you before, Crows, but I would love to take up blacksmithing as a hobby. I don't have the time or the space or the means right now, but one day I will take up blacksmithing as a hobby and I will put it on this very channel. Yes, it's going to be great. <sighs> the beer is almost gone, my friends. Not that much left. One day, little Jimmy was playing with his toys. When a man appeared out of nowhere, Jimmy asked who he was. And the man says he was Jimmy from the future. Little Jimmy asked what he would be when he was older. Future Jimmy said, a pedophile, as he locked the door. <gasps> I was not expecting that turn. Oh, that joke. Oh, that's absolutely brutal, zombie. And funny and gross, but also funny and also gross. How was your day going, Wolf? Uh, my day was actually good. I had kind of a shitty start to the week. My right knee 
which has always given me problems for like since I was in my 20s, just freaked out on me for no reason. Like I didn't even injure it. But for some reason, like I have to climb ladders a lot at work because I'm an electrician and fucking wires go in the attic most of the time. My right knee was just freaking out on me, just like pain, pain, pain. And so that was kind of gay, but it passed. I just took a lot of naps and tried to keep my weight off of it, and that passed. But today, it wasn't hurting very much at all. It's pretty much healed, I think, whatever the fuck was going on. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just chilling, and my day was good. Yeah, just wiring houses, man. Wiring houses. Drinking a beer feels good, man. So I have to go because our new roommate decided to get trashed, and I have to get him. (laughs) All right, Jack. Well, thank you for being here, brother. I appreciate it. This was very, very fun. I did not know how live streaming me drinking a beer would go, and this has actually been super, super fun. Good luck with your roommate, man. I've gotten a lot better and faster at it. I'd say in a couple of weeks, I could start posting my blades on Discord. Oh, please do, dude. That would be so cool. And as I have said, I'm a big fan of the blacksmithing concept. So please do. Nobody will appreciate it more than me. And I really look forward to seeing what you post. And uh, if I could offer a recommendation, once you're comfortable... Start a YouTube channel. You know, just set up a camera, record yourself smithing, do a little minor editing, and uh, that would be super cool to watch you make stuff. Why can't orphans play baseball? They don't know where their home is. Oh, those poor orphans, they can't play ball. What are they doing? Where did Lucy go during the bombing? Everywhere. (laughs) Stop it. Oh, I love dark humor jokes. Can't even lie. But I'll leave with one more joke. How many hookers does it... How many hookers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Definitely more than 15 because my basement is still dark. (laughs) (laughs) oh shit how'd you fit that many hookers in your basement how big is your basement (laughs) jack thank you for chilling my friend it has been a blast to have you back on stream and i hope to see you in the future i am streaming on youtube these days on friday nights so make sure you're there on friday nights and come to the twitch streams too because we're trying to grow it it has been a pleasure my friend I will see you on the morrow. Hmm. Beer's almost gone. Last wig. Who, baby? I have become a lightweight, and I am a fan. How many officers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They just beat the room for being black. Oh, how could you? How could you? (laughs) Okay, now you can drive. Remember, each pedestrian is 10 points. Stop it. (gasps) Oh. My friends, we have reached the bottom of the beer. We have been live streaming for over an hour. I think that is a good point to call this live stream. I have had a lot of fun. I have enjoyed the fuck out of my beer. I have thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with y'all and being revolted and... What's a good word for being made to laugh? Hilarious aside... It's definitely not a real word. 
I have laughed at some amazing jokes, and it has been grand. And we shall stream some Dark Souls Remastered tomorrow. And we shall stream some Dark Souls 3 in the very near future. And we shall be streaming Bloodborne this Friday night on YouTube. So please be there. All right, Wolf, I'll see you next stream. As goes for everybody else, I'll bring more jokes. I know that you will, and I'm so happy. Night, Wolf. See you next time. Love your faces. Thank you for being here, fam. I didn't know how this was going to go, but it was great. It was great. I'm going to go enjoy my buzz and watch some YouTube videos and uh, a beard heart. <laughs> smooth gore. I'm going to spam some smooth gore, too, because I can. Yeet. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.